Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Let's take a look at the Traps Escape Expansion 3. I do want to show you what the components are inside, but the box is kind of long. It fits really well together, and what's great about it is it also tells you that we got the Expansion Module 7, Traps Chambers, and 8 Time Chambers. The first thing you'll notice is you get an Expansion rule book. It's got three different languages that are in it. It's got a lot of colors and looks pretty good. Um, and it's broken up into modules. So you get seven and eight that you can add to this one. You're gonna get a number one and two. These are little chits, nice cardboard. You're gonna get two little plastic timers of different colors. And then you're gonna get a number of tiles. So you're gonna see the inclusion of lava this time. And you're seeing the um, timekeepers on here. So we'll take a look at this and show you how they look. The backs match up perfectly, the cardboard is really thick, the components are really great for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two, three, or four of these, you're going to mix them up with the exit tile and put them at the bottom of the pile. So that's how you're going to set this up. So you know the traps are going to come out towards the end of the game. So the first tile a trap is going to be the moving platform. So when you get this one, your venture immediately goes in there. And then this one will move, actually. It will move around the board. It doesn't change the orientation, sorry. It will move around the board until it finds the next door that it can line up with. So it can really screw with you how it moves around the board and takes you completely somewhere else you did not intend. So the invocation chamber, when you first move into it, everybody else moves there with you. At any time that you want, you can roll three keys and move everybody to this location. So the invocation chamber can be a mixed bag. You're gonna get two cliffs. When you get up here, you're gonna place your adventure at the top, depending on which one you need. You must roll the three torches or keys by yourself. Other people can walk in, but they can only give you golden mask. They can't help you with the torches. Once you roll the torch or the keys, what you need, you move back on this and you can move out per normal. It's a very neat little thematic part of it where you're like, you're pretending like you're leaving and oh my gosh, you're like holding on by the thread because you lost your footing. Very neat. I like this tile a lot. Very thematic. So this one's kind of cool too. I like this one where you come down the stairs and you can't go up then. It kind of has that 3D effect, if you will. So you can't go this way. You have to leave out the other doors. It's almost like you're going downstairs. So th these tiles are very thematic and very neat. I like these trap tiles quite a bit. So these time traveling channels uh, chambers will also be mixed in with the exit and be towards the bottom of the deck, if you will. You're only going to put two, three, or four of these in there. Uh, very thick tiles look very nice. Uh, when you add these in, you're going to be adding in the two sand timers also. So they will interplay with the use of these tiles. So the way these are going to play in general is when you enter one of these, you're going to put the sand timer that matches the color. Some will be blue and some will be green. If, for instance, you get this tile and then another one comes out and you need the sand timer but it's in use, you will put the number one on it saying it will go there next and then the number two on the next one. And that's what those numbers are for. But these sand timers will make you do a puzzle or perhaps you can't do something until the timer is done. And I'll show you each one of those tiles now. The first four tiles are going to be your production chambers. What you're going to do is you're going to put a green sand timer on it, on this one. And when it's up, you'll flip it over and put it on this one. While it's going on, players cannot perform this action. So while it's up here, you cannot get the magic gem or the gold mask. And you can kind of see what the actions are here. So as long as the timer's on there, you just kind of got to wait it out. So that's how these four tiles will work their production. So this chamber. is the sacrifice chamber. And as soon as this is flipped over, all players will put one die in here. And you flip the blue timer and you have one minute to get here. If you get here, you take your, tie, your dice back. If you do not get here in time, you lose that dice permanently for the game. So that can be pretty, pretty tough to be a dice down. Here is the torch chamber. So... Players have one minute, you're going to do the one minute timer, to come in here and collectively roll seven torches. If you don't, two players, 
two players will, roll, will lose one die each. So you may punt this when it comes up, or you guys may rush there and try to do it. So these two lava chambers work exactly the same. You're going to have one minute, one minute, one minute to accomplish these tasks. If you don't accomplish it, you you get the the negatives that are attached to it. If you do it, if you do, or are able to get past it, then you will be fine. So um, this one will add gym tokens to the gym depot this one will cause you to lose die so once again you can punt it and take the negative or you can run there and take care of it uh so that's the traps expansion three i actually like this one quite a bit i like what these tiles do this is making the game kind of force you to go in a certain direction maybe depending on how many of these that you put into it i probably like these more the module that adds in these pink ones I think they're very thematic and very cool. This timer one, I don't know. There's already a lot of time things going on, so you're either going to like this or you're not. But this puts it over the edge to me. I, I would recommend this one. This didn't come in the big box. If you have the big box, this does not come into it. This is something that's been released since or at least wasn't included. Um, I like it quite a bit. These right here are some of my favorite tiles to add to the game. I highly recommend this one. I would tell you, you know, if you're going to go for the big box, this is a very neat thing to add. Um, even this timer thing adds a lot of tension to the game, and I highly recommend it.